Hello, this is Einstein Moki and welcome to this video where I share with you the result of an experiment my team and I carried out on an important phase of SEO, search engine optimization, which is keyword research. And in this exercise, we focused more on the keyword difficulty from SEMrush and eight other SEO tools we also looked at the search volume and the cost per click CPC of a specific keyword on a specific date. At the end of this video, I will be sharing with you which of these SEO tools is our choice and why. So don't go away. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Like I said in this exercise, we focused more on keyword difficulty, looking at which of these tools is more accurate. As a matter of fact, we pitched SEMrush against eight other SEO tools in the market. And we actually were looking at the search volume and also CPC, all right, in addition to Keyword difficulty, we also focused or uh, also partly looked at uh, the search volume of uh, that specific keyword and uh, CPC. So these are the uh, elements of our research. So the main keyword which we focused on is GM, uh, Gmail, SMTP settings. All right, that's the keyword Gmail, SMTP settings. And the search engine that we selected in all of these tools is google.com and the country is the United States of America and this experiment was done on the 1st of May 2020. So these are the elements of our research, right? So we are right away going to begin with SEMrush, okay? What is the data? we got from SEMrush, which is the focus of our search, all right, this is the main tool that we have on one end, and we're going to have eight other tools on the, the end. So this keyword, according to SEMrush, Gmail SMTP settings is said to be hard, rated at 76%. As a matter of fact, this is difficult. And we also looked at the volume of this keyword on the 1st of May, 2020 and take note we are aware that these tools have different dates they update their databases all right but that doesn't stop us from conducting this research to have a broad idea of what these tools have as a uh, keyword difficulty so we had a uh, SEMrush on one end that said that this keyword is difficult it is hard at 76 percent and the volume for that month was 9,900 searches from the United States of America. And the cost per click, according to SEMrush, for this keyword was $6.57. All right, now this is actually what we have as a foundation. Now let's move on with other uh, keyword tools and see what they have for this specific keyword from the United States on google.com on that specific date. So we are moving on with the next tool, which is uh, Ahrefs, right? And according to this tool, the keyword, our keyword, our study keyword is said to be at 66%, uh, 60 which is as hard as SEMrush over there at 76%. And the volume is said to be at 21,000 for that month on that specific, as from, as a matter of on that month from the US and from google.com. And the CPC, the cost per click for this keyword is standing at $18, which is quite high above SEMrush. Now let's move to the next tool this time, which is, uh, SEPSTAT. And according to SEPSTAT, this keyword is not as difficult as SEMrush things. It is at 23.24%, the same keyword, the same date, same database, and same country. And they are saying that the keyword is not difficult. All right, and the volume 
is 9,900. The same uh, figure with Semraj, or matter of fact, and the cost per click for this keyword, according to Substat, is one dollar ninety-three cent. And if this is a quite different. It's quite different from what we have with Semraj. Now let's move to the next uh, SEO tool, which is uh, if a suggest of near pattern and according to this tool this keyword is easy it is easy and the volume is 12,000 and a hundred uh, such as from the US average okay that's just an average and the cost per click according to uh, Neil's tool is 84 cent what do you think about that so let's move to the next tool which is key search this is one of the tools that picked our interest and according to it the keyword difficulty is 51 percent which is hard and the volume is 12,000 and a hundred averagely from the united states and the cost per click is one dollar 78 cents which is quite below semrosh now let's move to the next tool uh malls which is a common seo platform and according to this tool the keyword difficulty is very hard it is as a matter of fact hard at 59 percent and the volume is a range between 11.5k and 30.3k and we are moving to the next keyword tool which is world tracker and according to this tool the keyword difficulty is very hard it is very near semrosh at 71.6 percent and the volume is 21,000 a month from uh, USA and in the month of May. And of course, uh, we're moving to the keyword. The next keyword tool that we carried out this experiment with is keyword KW Finder. And according to this tool, um, the keyword difficulty is 38%, which is said to be possible. All right, it is not as difficult as what Sam Rush thinks. Remember, this is the same period, and we also consider the fact that these tools don't have the same date of updating their databases. And volume is ten thousand six hundred, which is not so different from uh, Sam Rush. And the cost per click is one dollar ninety three cent, which is quite far from what Sam Rush tells us. So let's move to the next uh, SEO tool. And this time around, we're going to Google, which is the master or the source of data for all these other SEO tools. And according to Google, the average monthly search is between 10K and 100K. Now, the competition column is not really telling us that ranking for this keyword is easy because this is actually referring to the cost per click difficulty for this keyword. And according to Google, it is between $3 and eighteen dollars so in my opinion any tool that falls out of this range has an issue so let me move this uh, a little bit up and we'll find out that Uber suggests is below the range from uh, Google uh, keyword planner which is uh, ten three dollars and eighteen point seven five dollars we found out also that key search all right is below the range from google keyword planner and we also found out that keyword find finder kw finder is below the i mean the cost per click is below the uh, range from google keyword planner and we also found out that sepstats is also below you know at one dollar and 97 cents so that's that's what we actually found out and if you ask me I'm going to tell you that any tool that falls without the range of uh, Google is uh, having an issue when it comes to the CP symmetric of this keyword. Which of these are we going forth with? So we have chosen to go with Semrush for a couple of reasons. Number one, the search volume for that specific keyword and for that period of time from us and google.com is within the search volume and the cost per click are all within uh, google keyword planners range all right that means that semrush is closer to being accurate 
Now, there are other tools that have fallen within this, but there are more reasons that are pushing us to uh, be able to select uh, SEMrush as our SEO tool, as our digital marketing uh, tool. And some of these reasons are, number one, the uh, search engine optimization content template, which is a feature on uh, uh, SEMrush that actually scans the entries on Google page one for your targeted keyword, for your specific keyword. And it's going to tell you what those entries on Google page one have done and what you should do in order to be on Google page one. And those other tools that we've worked with don't have this feature. So we see this as a plus with Sam Rush. And another reason is the SEO writing assistant, which is a real time checker, right? that checks your content as you actually write. It checks the SEO friendliness, it checks the readability, the originality, the tone of voice of your content. And this is an addition to SEMrush platform. Of course, we are looking also at the SEMrush marketplace where you can instantly, after having done your keyword research, after having decided that, all right, I'm going to go in for this keyword, you can order for an article at a very affordable price right within that platform and that article will be written by seo experts who know what they are doing and another reason that we are choosing or going with semrush is the fact that the keyword difficulty tool comes with set features all right it's able to tell you which uh, set feature is available available for the keyword you are targeting set features like uh, site links featured snippet a uh, featured video and this platform is able to tell you which of these uh, features is available for the keyword that you are actually uh, targeting so semrush is our tool and right now what do you do right below this video is a link to take a um, free trial right seven day trial of semrush you have seven days to actually go through it you have full access to the platform try it out as a digital marketing tool whether you are into uh, content marketing into seo marketing into social media marketing this tool or into paid market paid search uh, doing pay-per-click this tool is going to help you analyze uh, the market and analyze your competitors and come out with the best strategy for your online marketing so the link is right below you take a look and sign up take the free uh the free trial and you may also want to check on my blog if you're actually watching on youtube there's a link in the description box where you can go to my blog and read more about what we've just discussed in this video so i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you